Good day, dear students. I'm Miss Miriam. Okay, as you see, this is not a typical reading comprehension with questions. It's a text, but not any text. Okay, I need an excellent student to tell me what type of text is this, but after we read it together. Ice cream shop. I went to the ice cream shop. I had a vanilla cone. Next, I sat down to eat it. When I licked the cone, the scoop fell off in my lap. Then I cried because I was so sad. Okay, after we read it together, I need to I need someone to tell me what type of text is this. I'm going to give you quite some time to think. Correct. A simple recount. Okay, let's make a quick recap on simple recount. Yes, in order to write down a simple recount, we need to mention the title, orientation, events or sequence, and the ending. Okay, let's talk about each point briefly. Okay, when I said the title, yes, of course, we need to mention the title, as in at school, at the park, in the living room, and so on. Okay, the next thing we need to mention is the orientation. What do I mean with the orientation? The orientation means I need to mention who, where, when. Okay, when I ask who, I'm talking about who is in the story, who is the character, the main character, or who are the main characters in the story. Okay. And when I'm asking where, of course I need to mention the place. Where did my story take place? When. When I ask when, it doesn't have to be a certain time as in the clock, like two o'clock, three o'clock. It might be a day as well, as in last Saturday, last week, last month, and so on. Okay, let's jump to this point, which is we need to mention the events or the sequence. What do I mean with the events or the sequence? I mean, first, next, then, after that, and finally. These are the time connectives, okay? And the last point we need to talk about is the ending. And the ending, it has to be about feelings. I need to mention the feeling. It might be a happy feeling or a sad feeling. Okay, let's check these points I mentioned and implement them in our text, okay? Okay, I mentioned the first point was I need to mention the title. Does this story has a title? Let's check together. Ice cream shop. So does it have a title? Of course it has a title, which is the ice cream shop. Okay, the next point that we need to talk about was the orientation. The orientation I mean with who, where, when. Okay? Okay, I need to check who. Who are the persons in the story? It might be one person, it might be more than one person. Okay, so let's check. Who is the main character? Who are the people mentioned in our story? I went to the ice cream shop. I had a vanilla cone. Next, I sat down to eat it. When I licked the cone, the scoop fell off in my lap. Then I cried because I was so sad. So... The main character in the story was the first person, which is I pronoun. Okay. Okay, let's jump to the next point. We need to mention where did our story take place? Where? So I'm talking about a place, okay? Let's check. Was it mentioned? I went to the ice cream shop. So, of course, the place was mentioned. Where? In the ice cream shop. Okay. Let's jump 
to the last point, which is when. Was it mentioned in a story? No, it wasn't mentioned. But most probably it's in daytime. Okay, in the story it's not mentioned whether it was Saturday or 2 o'clock or whatsoever. Because this is a small, simple recount. It's a small story, that's why it didn't mention all the points that we've mentioned at the simple recount, okay? But if you're going to write down a simple recount, of course you need to mention all the points that we've talked about. Okay, let's jump to the event or the sequence or the time connectives, which are first, next, then, after that, finally. We need to check what time connectives the writer used, okay? Next, I sat down to eat it. When I licked the cone, when I licked the cone, the scoop fell off in my lap. Then, I cried because I was so sad. So these were the time connectives that the writer chose. Okay. Okay. Let's jump to the last point, which is the ending. The feeling was it a happy fa was it a happy feeling or a sad feeling? Let's read the last line. Then I cried because I was so sad. So this is the feeling. Sad. Okay. Thanks for listening and watching.